a nuke? Yeah. Let's be able to heal through a tracer, a tracer ultimate. Yeah. Let's go. But no, I, with the YouTube thing here. Go ahead. Go ahead. With the YouTube thing here, um, again, uh, the reason why I brought up Overwatch anyway is because there's a YouTuber who does almost exclusively Overwatch videos by the name of Stylosa. He goes, he goes by Unit Lost Gaming, and Jeff Kaplan, the creator, the creative director of Overwatch, or creator, I can't remember, his principal designer or whatever he is. He's he's Papa Jeff, um, but he made a mention that there was a bug with. Um, well, yeah, there was a bug with Zarya's shield, where even if it even if it would have killed the shield, a knockup wouldn't yep. affect her. Well, they decided to go ahead and they decided to go ahead and fix that. So if it would dis- display the shield, she would get knocked back or knocked up or anything like that. Knocked Which up? Wait, what? <laughs> knocked upward, not oh, oh, pregnant. Oh. Well, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I kind of oh, think... oh, oh, and here's oh, the thing. Sorry, Zarya... stop making inappropriate comments, but I'll make them. And here's the thing. Zarya wouldn't go for that you could anyway tell me to stop. because I'm sorry. Given, given Zarya's demeanor, who she is, she ain't looking for men. No. <laughs> I want to hug you like big fuzzy Siberian We're not going to have this conversation. We're moving on. Because if we don't, I'm going to start talking about my porn collection and you're not going to be happy with me. Um, We're moving Wrong on. show. Are, are you sure? But no, We're moving on. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, wrong. Okay, okay. But anyway, he took this to mean that, you know, this bug fix meant that this is the coming of Doomfist. For... Anybody who doesn't know, Overwatch has. There's a character in Overwatch who's been teased almost since the almost since the game the came beginning. out. Um, his like his name is Doomfist. Doomfist. He's the principal villain of the sh- of this of the of the universe potentially at this point in time. He's the big glove that you saw in that animation with yeah. Tracer and with Tracer, Daddy. Maker, Reaper, and no, Daddy wasn't in it. What Call of Daddy? No, it was Reaper. It was the the glove was. I'm Reaper. talking about Call of Daddy. Call of Daddy wasn't in it. No. Soldier seventy six. No, he I had wasn't. a moment. No, he wasn't in I it. I can't call him anything else. <laughs> okay. But um. Anyway, go ahead. No, yeah. That and my waifu. He has the idea. Oh he has the he he has the ability, and it's basically <coughs> his the fist he has his gauntlet is the ability to knock people up or knock them around. <laughs> Knock them back. God damn it. Shut up. Do not put that through your nose and into the microphone. You'll watch Spencer come across his fucking room at you. It hey, will make me laugh. If I but... snorted it out, it would go right back into my cup. Yeah, I'm just but, saying. But God, that would fucking burn. Oh. oh, yeah, it would. With the brandy? Yeah. Yeah, it's but, blackberry brandy and root beer. I mean, fuck. Anyway, but he would go, but anyway, he has the ability to basically, you know, send out shockwaves with his fist. Well... Stylos is like, well, this bug means that Doom, this bug fix that Daria can be knocked back from her shield it means, means Doom that Doomfist is, is coming. How? I. What? Knocking up, Doomfist is coming. Oh man, <laughs> we're just on a roll. Okay. You know, I. Uh, you know what? Hey. So, if, if the if the voice actor who we get for Doomfist is who everybody thinks it is, that God, that would make me so happy. So, it's not too it would far make from me so happy. So with our last, uh, I think we're down to like six, seven minutes or so. We are. Um, with our last six, yeah. seven, six or seven minutes, uh, I believe you had brought this up. Yeah, we want to go into YouTube. We want to talk about this for a minute. What happened with PewDiePie? Oh, oh and everybody's talking about what happened everybody's with PewDiePie. Talking Literally about everybody. It. I mean, I even saw John and Hank Green talking about this. And normally when it comes to politics with with YouTube, John and Hank Green kind of stay off to the side if something happens. But even they brought it up, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I know they did on the Twitter. Fact that, it's also the fact that the Wall Street Journal basically demonized him for no reason. And then, and, and then said, oh, he didn't have a comment. And then they went to him afterwards to say, they went, hey, no, do you have a comment now? They didn't now? just go to him after the, po- after the post was aired. They went to his home address. address. To, to address him about this and ask him if he had a comment. Yep. They blindsided him at his, his home. home in order That's to do wrong. this. And just like, are you fucking kidding me? That's For wrong. those who don't know what happened, PewDiePie is 
probably those of you who biggest, don't know, he, look it up. Where have you been? Get out from under the rock. Go ahead. He's the biggest. He's the biggest independent YouTuber uh, in the world right well, now. Well, he was. Yeah, he still got over. He still got over fifty million subscribers. He still got over fifty million. You, you know, okay, okay, and, and let's be honest here. That's because most of them are too lazy to unsubscribe from this him. This is true. Because you know everybody in the world gets butt hurt by the slightest little bullshit now. But anyway. He's, he's the biggest independent YouTube creator in the world, at least. Still, uh, has, he's the first one for YouTube to actually make a custom-made Ruby play button in the shape of a fist or whatever. But anyway, um, he was going. He was trying to show how crazy a website called Fiverr was. That um, they would do anything these, for five dollars. These guys would do anything for five dollars. There were two Indian men, um, or I can't remember where they were from, but anyway, they. They said they would put anything on a sign and dance around for it, dance around with it for five dollars. He made the fucking wonderful decision to have them to have them put "Death to All Jews" subscribe to Keemstar on the sign. Now, they please, did it. please keep in mind as we're talking about this, PewDiePie has apologized for what happened. He, has. he apologized he has for the apologized jokes that profusely. he's made, and he's... I want to take a minute and say. If you haven't seen Markiplier's video, it is called Respect. Realize that this is a real person. This isn't just his personality. This isn't just his YouTube personality you or actually, a character. Like, this is a real person. If you Please actually, remember that. If you actually watched the video when it happened, you saw the look of <laughs> shock and that somebody horror would do on this. his face when he's just like, "I had no idea they would actually do it." He literally got into, like, he, he was taken aback by this because he didn't think they would actually do it. Now, again, it was a stupid idea. You could have just put subscribe to Keemstar on there or done something like that, something just equally crazy or stupid. But the fact that you brought in the anti-Semitism, especially in a part right now where our nation and our world is in just this absolute fucking shitstorm of racism, anti-Semitism. That's because... I will Come. always no. I will always say this: when you forget your history, it, you're doomed to repeat it. And everyone has forgotten that we're all people. We are. It doesn't matter what race. It doesn't matter what religion. We are all people, and we all deserve to be treated as such. Amen. 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 But now. Anyway. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. What, what, what ended up happening? We have someone waving us down here. Oh, okay. he's, oh, he's just scratching his arm. Okay, okay, anyway. But what ended up <laughs> happening was Disney dropped Good. PewDiePie entirely. <laughs> Disney dropped him entirely. Disney owns Maker Studios, yep. the company that his YouTube, his multi channel network is part of. Yep. Um, Disney dropped him entirely. They canceled the second season of his YouTube Red original series, Scare PewDiePie, which actually wasn't that bad. I actually watched it when it first came out. It wasn't that bad. I was, I was looking forward to season two, though, because we were getting forward. some Jack in there, too. We were getting and I was some Jacksepticeye. We were getting some so interesting excited. stuff in there. But it's just like, you, they canceled. They, they cut all ties with him. They, he had no ad revenue at that point. And then he got, and then now he's got, he's getting making money off of YouTube's base um, content creator system. But other than that, like, he's nothing. And I, I, I understand he greatly apologized he profusely apologized but he didn't understand that he was he didn't set the joke up right and it didn't come back properly and that's my major problem with it yeah i i agree um having watched jack septiguy's um video about this as well he didn't bring his joke back around to the point that it should have ended with and that this was a ridiculous thing that he did to see you know if people would really do it and they did, but he forgot to close it in a way. He for, he presented it in the wrong way. He didn't bring it back around to that close. He just... It wasn't done well. No. All and right. And that's, that's the problem. And, and yeah, and that is and that is a big problem. And, and, and you know, um, closing the joke is always very important. And on that note... You can ask any comedian. If you don't close the joke right, you ain't getting the laughs. And on that note, we're actually going to close up. True facts. <laughs> so I want to thank my co-hosts here. I want to thank you guys very much. Big shout out to... Spencer Hart over there who's been helping us out this whole time. 
Like I said, we make jokes about stealing their studios, but we wouldn't be able to do any of this without them. Um, now, now um, they're not here, but I do want to make a quick shout out to Nate the fucking great. Max Beatty, I am part of that Beatty club, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget AJ and Chris over at Smart Money. And, um, of course, always you're always going to want to check out Smart Money, and you're going to want to check out the Squared Circle podcast uh, here on the Elite Ringside Network. On, uh, uh, live on Spreaker.com, iTunes Player.fm, PodDirectory.com. Stitcher.com, Google Play, TuneIn Radio, CastBox.com, and the Satchel Player for your iPhone and Android. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please do leave your comments. Comment, 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 and good night. Good night.